hi. I'm Hazel and today we're talking through what you might want to stock up on for 8.3 and what you should sell or spend now. The first thing to save up is service metals, and that's because there's a new mount being added to the vendor. For 357th Legion or Honor Band service medals, you can buy yourself a Sandy Nightsaber. It looks like this. To unlock it on the vendor, you will first need to clear the new heroic version of Battle for Darkshore that's coming in 8.3. It's just the one new mount and both Horde and Alliance can buy it. If you feel like a refresher on service metal farming, I made a handy guide back in the day that I will link below. Next thing to stock up on is Seafarer's doubloons from Island Expeditions. In patch 8.3, they're adding a second doubloon vendor with boxes to buy. Those can contain all of the collectible rewards that drop from islands normally, like the transmog, pets, toys, and mounts. If you've still got your eye on anything from islands that's been eluding you so far, you can stock up on doubloons and try your luck with the boxes after the patch drops. Another currency worth holding onto is Najatar's Prismatic Mana Pearls. That is, if you plan on collecting Azerite Essences on your alts. In patch 8.3, you will be able to trade your Mana Pearls for a count bound rep tokens to help catch your alts up on Najatar rep. The Wave Swept Abyssal Conch costs 20 pearls, gives 250 rep, and will not work past Exalted. Of course, if you either A don't have alts or B don't need a Najatar rep gated essence on them, feel free to keep dumping pearls into disenchantable epics. Another save for 8.3 is Pet Charms. For all you pet collectors out there, there will be two new pets added for polished pet charms in patch 8.3. The Oldham Accord Rep Quartermaster offers a Pygmy Camel at Revered for 300 polished pet charms. Up in Pandaria, the Rajani Quartermaster will sell you a Wind Feathered Chick Crane Pet at Revered for another 300. You're not going to be revered in a day, so I wouldn't stress if you haven't saved in time. Just be advised that they'll be available and you may have a use for 600 saved up pet charms coming up. The last thing that I'm saving up for patch 8.3 is raid mats and consumables. Even if you're not going to be diving into Nihilotha yourself, market demand for these always spikes around patch and raid release time, so it's a decent season for making gold. I am personally hanging on to a stockpile of herbs, alchemy items, as well as enchanting mats to hopefully get more value out of them in 8.3. Over in the things to not hold on to category, top of my list is augment runes. In 8.3, you will be able to purchase a permanent and reusable augment rune. You'll need to reach Exalted with the Rajani, and granted it does cost 50,000 gold. Not everyone is going to instantly have that, so rune demand should wind down slowly instead of falling off a cliff. Still, if you're sitting on a bunch of them, I wouldn't wait much longer than raid release to sell. Finally, if you need anything at all off its vendor right now, spend your Titan Residuum. When 8.3 hits, it will be converted to gold at a rate of one silver per Residuum. Your stockpile is reset and you will get your Consolation Gold in the mail. If you like all of your Azerite gear, that might be fine with you. There will certainly be more in 8.3, so it's not the end of the world if you forget. Just maybe double check. If there's an easy upgrade that you can try for, you might want to spend your residuum and do that before the patch. So that's my list. Thanks for watching. Feel invited to pop by my stream sometime if you like, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.